Welcome back to our channel. I'm teacher Cedric. And today we are going to look at another MMOS question from the special round 2014. How many triangles are there in the figure below? Now this is a counting problem, one of MMOS favorites. So let's count. We have one triangle here, another triangle here, two, another triangle here. Oh, hold on a second. Have I counted this triangle? Uh, maybe not. So four. Have I counted this triangle before? Mm, maybe no. So five. So we quickly run into trouble here, as you can see, because if we just count all these triangles one by one, we might miscount some triangles, or we might double count some triangles. Therefore, if we were to count the triangles in this shape, of course, we have to rely on a more systematic approach. Now, one way is that we count these triangles according to their sizes. So how many triangles are there consisting of just one small triangle, like this? And how many triangles consisting of two small triangles, like this? But this method is still not very practical in this shape, because this, as I believe, is a very rather complicated shape. So we have to rely on a special technique, which I call the line adding technique. Now, this technique would involve a very central idea, and that is start simple. Let us have a careful look at this shape. We see that this is a regular hexagon without these three lines. So first of all, let me remove these three lines so that we get a hexagon. Now, tell me, how many triangles can I find in this hexagon? There are six. But this is not the original shape. We still have to add back all the lines that we have just removed. So starting with the first line, let me bring this red line over here. Now, as I add in this red line, how many new triangles have been formed? We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. But is that it? Hmm. We still have this big one over here and another one over here. So as we add in these lines, we need to identify the new triangles according to each segment to make sure that we don't miss any triangles. So for the red line, starting with the first segment, we have one triangle over here and one triangle over here. So that gives us two triangles. And for this second segment over here, we have one triangle over here and another one over here. So that gives us another two triangles. Now, if I combine these two line segments to get this whole line, this entire line, how many new triangles can I get? Let's see, we have this big one over here formed by this entire red line and the other one over here, that's two. And here's another one, three, and here's another one, so four. So we see that as I add in this red line, the one segment will give me two plus two, four more triangles. And the two segments in total, this entire line, will give me another four triangles. But that's just the first line that we just add in. How about we add in another line? So now, let me bring back this blue line over here. Let's see how many new triangles can it form. Again, starting with the first segment, we can have one triangle, two triangle, and three triangle. So we get three triangles from the first segment. And another segment, we have one over here, and another one over here. So that's two triangles. But that's not the end of the story because we still have to consider if I combine these two segments, if I have two segments combined, how many triangles can I form? Let's see. Here's one. Here's another one, two. Here's the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So we see that with these two segments combined, we can get a total of five new triangles. So far, so good. Now, a final step will be adding the final line, the straight line, the green line over here. Again, let us first split this green line into different segments. From the first segment, we have one triangle on the left, another one on the right, so two triangles. And for this segment, one on the left and one on the right, another two, 
One on the left, one on the right, two. One on the left, one on the right, two. So these are the triangles that we can obtain by splitting this green line into different unit segments. Now, let us try to combine the segments and see if we get, can get more triangles. So starting with two segments, if I combine this segment and this segment, can I get any triangles? Mm, not possible. But if I combine this line segment and this line segment over here, how many triangles can I get? We have this one over here and another one on the right. And we have this big one on the top and this another one, symmetry to the, to the, to the previous one, to the bottom. So we see that with these two line segments over here, we can get another four. And finally, if I use these two seg line segments over here, can I get any new triangle? The answer is no. And that's not the end of the story. We still can combine every three segments. For example, I can consider this segment plus this segment plus this, seg this segment. Can I get any triangle? Very good. Here's one triangle, and that's the only one. And can I combine this line segment, this line segment, and this line segment? Would that give me a new triangle? It is. So here's another one. So with three segments, we can get one at the bottom, sorry, to the top, this one, and one to the bottom. So that's two. Now, if I use all four segments, the, as this entire green line, would I get any new triangle? Mm, probably not. So we have found all the triangles. Six plus four plus four plus five plus five plus eight plus four plus two. That'll give us a total of 38 triangles. So this is another way for you to count shapes, especially in this kind of very complicated shape, where if you were to count them one by one or according to the sizes, you quickly run into trouble. But we can try to first remove some very annoying lines out of our side first. And then we put them back one by one and then see how many new triangles can they form. Now, I call this technique the line adding method. And the trick is to add in these lines, line by line, one line after the other. And then in order to, for you to do this systematically, you have to go through every segment one by one. With one segment, how many new triangles can I form? With another one, how many triangles can I form? If I combine them, how many new triangles can I form? In this way, you can make sure that you never miss any triangles. So that's how you solve this kind of counting problem. Now, if you would like to learn more on the counting problems in NMOS, we're going to have a free workshop next week. Here is the date and time and the location of our school. And then here is where you can download our app to book, to register for this free workshop. We're going to go through some counting problems in MOS. And I would like to also take this opportunity to, to, to introduce our courses. We have weekly math classroom from P1 to S2, from spring to summer to fall. And we also provide short-term sprint class on PSLE and MOS, RI SMOPS, small, SASMOL, and SMKC. And again, you can download our app from Google Play or App Store. And here are some pictures of our teachers and classroom. And if you don't want to miss any info on our events or activities, make sure you join our study groups on WhatsApp or Facebook. We'll constantly post new videos, solutions, mock tests, and then practices to all our students. And finally, make sure you stay tuned so that you don't miss any info to our WeChat, YouTube, Xiaohongshu, TikTok, and Instagram. Now that's it for today. I'm Teacher Cedric, and I'll see you next time.